okay in the last class we saw primary radar okay now before we go to dme we will see difference between primary and secondary radar hello ladies and gentlemen your captain speaking from flight deck my name is captain surender singh welcome aboard the plane talking sit back relax and enjoy your journey okay in the last class we saw primary radar okay now before we go to dme we will see difference between primary and secondary radar before we actually go because uh, unlike primary radar primary radar is an equipment if you put it in the aircraft and you look for the weather echo and such like principle it gives you weather information if you put it on the ground and is standing around rotating around you can see any aircraft which is flying primary radar is an equipment whether it is a airborne weather radar or it is on the ground whereas secondary radar is a principle on that principle number of equipment are designed initially like i told you in the before second world war okay british has invented primary radar so somewhere during the war only they came they invented the basic principle of secondary radar although it was they started using it much later so in this class we will see difference between primary and secondary radar primary radar it works on principle of echo and such light echo for the range and such light is for the bearing information which direction the return is coming from so principle is echo and such light so i put a transmitter antenna on ground i send a pulse it goes and if anything which is flying around it will reflect back the energy and you get the return it sends pulses anything which is reflecting you will get your return and you calculate the distance which the velocity is equal to distance upon time so distance is c into t by 2 that is a echo principle for sound wave it is speed of sound and that is a working of sonar okay and from which direction return is coming we use such light principle because the radar antenna is transmitting a narrow beam like a such light in all 360 direction the antenna is rotating whichever direction any return is picked up he sees on his plan position indicator or basically on his screen there is a principle when you talk about secondary radar this is a principle not an equipment as such there are number of equipment which has designed on this principle any secondary radar it works on principle of interrogator and transponder what is the meaning of interrogation anyone to ask the information to get information yeah what you mean to say is basically to seek information to obtain information interrogation and transponder a transponder is the end which is replying so we will see many instruments which work on this principle means one end is interrogating one end is replying so could be anywhere let's say on ground i can have an interrogator so one end is interrogator and other end is txr transponder tx is transmitter okay so simply for the abbreviation for transponder is txr so now equation is very simple the end which seeks information it asks the information the end which is supposed to reply it receives it process it and then replies it okay so you have interrogation pulses and you have you can simply call it replies whereas in primary radar it is just echo any aircraft which is flying around if you put the transmitter you start transmitting the pulse will go strike and will come back okay here one end is seeking information interrogation other end has to reply there is a basic principle we saw in primary radar or more importantly in the pulse radar you send stop send stop transmit receive transmit receive that's how it happens so here transmission and reception your transmitter and receiver are on alternating 
you send a pulse stop you wait for that pulse to return that's how it works and you calculate how much time it is taken velocity is equal to distance upon time so distance is c into t by 2 so t is pri or 1 by prf correct that's what we saw there is a simple principle of transmitter and receiver alternating even for the echo you have to shout and stop unlike a primary radar secondary radar your interrogation and replies are continuous one end is interrogating one end is or other end is replying it is continuous basically here you transmit pulse goes come back so your transmitter and receiver are at one end even in the aircraft we will see you have something called airborne weather radar you have a transmitter in front antenna you transmit all the cloud anything which is a reflecting object in front it will come back and you will see so your transmitter and receiver at one end here interesting thing interrogating so basically one end is asking for information or seeking information so here there is a receiver it processes what information is required all those equipment which we will see whether dme tcas secondary surveillance radar they work on this principle so it is interrogating other end receives what is the information it processes it and replies back so what is the major difference you see you have transmitter and receiver at both ends you have transmitter and receiver at both ends now it is very interesting here i shout and stop i send a pulse stop return comes and you are sending at a particular frequency prf here you are continuously interrogating and it is continuously replying okay so now there is a problem which reply is for what continuously they are interfering on the same frequency your transmitter is on receiver is also on here also transmitter is on receiver is on you see the problem where is the reference which reply is for what and there is a continuous mixing up overlap taking place of the information so the solution is that here you send a pulse it goes whatever frequency it goes it is reflected back because your transmitter and receiver are switching on alternate there is no interference when i am transmitting my receiver is off here you are continuously doing interrogating and it is continuously replying so any secondary radar whichever we will study you will find you have a separate frequency that is the basic principle of all this equipment whatever the frequency one end is interrogating other end is replying at different frequency so whether it is dme whether it is a secondary surveillance radar whether it is a tcas whatever equipment we will study there is one frequency for interrogation and one frequency is for replies only one frequency is used for interrogation and the echo which you receive here you have two separate frequencies two separate frequencies are used one for interrogation and one for <coughs> replies so that is a, another difference between primary and secondary radar principle in primary radar principle of echo if i have a radar on the ground any aircraft which is flying around it will reflect back uh, the controller will be able to see on his radar screen so basically you don't need any information as such from the other end even for the cloud also let's say the cloud you put that weather radar in front and antenna is going left to right any cloud which is reflecting back you will be able to see so basically you don't need any information from the other end which is giving you echo as long as any aircraft which is flying or any cloud is in front it will reflect back the energy whatever you are transmitting and you will be able to see whereas here one end is asking if this end you switch off what will happen it will not get any information so 
to obtain information from the other end and to maintain the cycle one end is interrogator other end has to reply which is not the case in the primary data principle so here you need information from the other end which is replying transponder uh, if there is no reply there is no information another interesting aspect of primary data you send a pulse it goes return anything which is around and you get by simple software you know what distance it is coming by such light principle which direction it is coming from correct so here in this case in primary data exchange of information takes place in single pulses whereas any secondary data which we will study the interrogation and reply is always in pair of pulses even if you look at this diagram here i have drawn the single pulse here i have drawn pair of pulses because in any secondary data is always in pair of pulses whether it is dme or it is ssr or tcas all this the interrogation pair of pulse replies pair of pulse why when we will come to that equipment we will see number the another difference between primary radar and secondary radar is that it is so any primary radar is prone to noise interference clutter clutter is unwanted return let's say i put a radar and it starts rotating if there is a hill around what will happen the hill will give you unwanted return so on the radar controller screen he will see a bright uh, interference it can be jammed you have seen those uh, vip vehicle unke sath ek jammer chalta hai they put the noise kabhi notice kiya piche last mein do big antenna ke sath ek jammer chalta hai they basically they jam the frequency uh, band radio frequency band similarly i can jam any radar basically controller won't be able to see anything even weather radar it is supposed to pick up from the front but if i tilt that beam down what will happen it will pick up all ground echo clutter unwanted return so this is the problem with the primary radar my weather radar is supposed to pick up cloud from the front but if i tilt the beam down what will happen it will start picking up unwanted return from the ground whereas here only the other end if it is replying you get the information so for the secondary radar it is it is free from noise interference clutter etc and the last difference between primary and secondary radar principle is here you have a transmitter and receiver at one end so you send a pulse it will go attenuation will take place it will lose its energy now the echo will come the energy will be lost because your transmitter and receiver are both at the same end so for the given transmission power range will be less because the same radio wave which you have sent it is traveling two way it goes strikes and come back so for the given transmission power range is less for the same given power transmission power your range is less and we saw to double the radar range power is to be increased 16 times so range is fourth root of transmission power that's what we saw remember to double the range 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 range is to be increased 16 times here you have a transmitter at one end so wave will go and you have a receiver at one end so attenuation is taking place only one way again you have a transmitter here and receiver here so propagation is taking place one way attenuation will take place one way so for the given transmission power range will be more why because of one way attenuation whereas in primary radar it is two way attenuation is taking place why because one way attenuation so here under root of 
transmission part transmitter receiver transmitter receiver here you have a transmitter and receiver at same end you go you transmit wave goes strikes and come back two way attenuation taking place so for the same transmission part range is less it summarizes all the difference between primary radar and secondary radar we will continue tomorrow on dme which works on principle of secondary radar so one end interrogator and one end replies transponder copy this see you after the break and this is your captain speaking